Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Jackson State Tigers and the Houston Cougars. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, when you're the underdog, you got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. The Cougars should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. Number one, it's up to the point guard to be the leader to control the entire tempo of the game. Next, take care of the rock. No turnovers, baby. Turnovers only lead to easy scores the other way. Third, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. The ball goes out of play. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Number 12 takes the pass. He's money with a shot. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. The ball goes out of bounds. On the dribble, gives it up. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Applying pressure. They go into the low block. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. For two. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Trying to feed the low block. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step and run around. Takes it off, and look at the speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Down inside. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. What a great strip. Jumps in. He nails the bucket. It on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. He takes it away. Tries for two. Knocks it down. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Number 12 gets the pass. Fakes it. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Now trying to feed the low block. Good job defensively. They just won't get him any open. Pressure in the basketball. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach.
Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. In and out. Obvious foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Gave it up. The power forward gets the ball. Perfectly executed. The power forward in the paint. He tries a jump hook. Houston are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And off the mark. The power forward with the ball. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. Number 12 takes the feed. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Drains the shot. Let's see that up close. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Looking for a good shot. A little frustration right there. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Shot rejected. They're off into transition. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They're working around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. They let him get into a rhythm. fakes they go inside and now back outside I tell you inside outside action always works oh what a strip red there it is Jam City take a look right here nobody steps into the driving lane he allows them to get the crease the lane the angle Tries for two. Doesn't go. He strokes it. He shows the sweet touch. Too physical. We thought this game would be a sellout, Dick, and it's not. I'll tell you, a lot of empty seats here. It's only half full. On the outside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from outside. Sinks the shot. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. Up and inside. In the pit and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Looking for a good shot. For two, perfectly executed. Neal 
Moving it around the perimeter. On the inside. Trying to draw some contact. Over plays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Great anticipation defensively. Now they work it around the perimeter. He tries to knock down the three. Way off target. He pump fakes. Jump hook from the low post. Houston have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Gave it up. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. On the dribble, gives it up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Ten on the shot clock. Great play to take that to the basket. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. He shoots from long range. Goes in. Let's check out this replay, Brad. Both teams looking to get things going here. Turns it over. He launches a three. He hits it. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Booker is fired up right now emotionally. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. He gets the rejection. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the crowd is enjoying this close one tonight. A lot of energy and excitement coming from the stands. What is going to happen tonight? Thanks, Aaron. It's stolen. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. Pushing that basketball. 
And the ball goes out of play. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Steals the ball. They work it around the perimeter. For two. Oh, yes. And one too many dribbles and a steal. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Got it. Let's see the replay on that one. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Double team now, bad angle. They'll work it around the arc. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from right of the circle. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. He does the sweet fake shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Working it around the perimeter. And now they'll bring it up. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He puts up the tray. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Easy one. Now look at him celebrating with the cheerleaders of all people. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Sinks it. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Leans in. The lay in. really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> Went away from the post and goes the other way. I wish you only had a foul. Coach not happy in the sideline. 
They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything has fallen into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. There he is, strips the ball loose. Here they come now on a turnover. Puts it up, looking for contact. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. Oh yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. He gets the shot to fall. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. They work the perimeter. Outside jumper, off the rim, and no good. And he'll kick it back outside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Way off target. Looking for the foul. There's a double team waiting there. Trying to draw the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Controlling the ball. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Now they work it around the perimeter. He blocks the shot. Has a nice look at the basket. He throws it up from downtown. Sinks it. Let's see if they go two for one here, Nick. Jumps into the defender. Great shot. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Shot clock is dead. There's the trap. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Number 12 is charged with the foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. I tell you what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. And the ball goes out of bounds. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. At the end of the first half, the Cougars lead by six. It's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? Watch here. Pounding the ball inside like you see. And this highlight will take a lot out of the team on defense. I expect to see more of the same from both teams in the second half. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Houston did a heck of a job shooting that ball in the first half. I mean, no doubt about it. These boys are given too much time to shoot. If you ask me, they basically have time to wait and get a good shot. The defense was non-existent, Mr. Nestler. We always love it when underdogs play well. They didn't in the first half, Dick, and they're going to have to pull out a miracle here in the second half. 
they're really going to have to really, really regroup and come out with some fire and get some momentum. It's essential they go on a spurt to get some confidence. If they don't get a spurt, hey, Brad, you got all your material ready? Because we're going to have to hit and talk about everything, baseball, basketball, football. Hey, who's going to win the Super Bowl? The ball goes out of play. Nick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, Ethan? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. For two. Perfectly executed. Moving it around the perimeter. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Dump it inside. The ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He shoots. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Gave it up. There's the pick. There's the roll. Houston are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Got the high pick. Here's a nice face-up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Stolen ball. Here they go into transition. Number 12 with a two-handed jam. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Picks off the pass. Looking for a good shot. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Look at that space. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Time to pick up the defense here now. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. 
Working it around the perimeter. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Booker is looking for some encouragement from the fans. He wants the crowd up and out of their seats for the next possession. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. And they come with a double team to stop it. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. He shoots from the baseline. Way off target. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Stolen away. They work it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. Double team now, bad angle. He strips him clean. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Picked out of the air. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He gets the bucket to fall. Stolen. Tries for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Gave it up. He intercepts it. From the top of the key. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Now this is home court advantage at its best. The crowd, the students, everyone is feeling good. Taken away. They run it up into transition. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on a defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. Takes away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. And he scores despite the hack. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. You've got that right, Brad. Up and inside. Intercepted. Easy dude coming here, Brad. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? The ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
spread down here on the sidelines. I'm close to the favorites bench. What they're saying is we've been in these situations before. Let's tighten up the defense and pull out a win here. Goes up for two. Jackson State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. For two, can't get the shot to drop. Basket falls despite the contact. From three-point land, makes the shot. Rejects it. He went up and knocked it away. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They work the perimeter. Tight D here. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Looking for a good shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. I think they're trying to make a statement. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and they're active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. go <laughs> tries for two off the rim and no good oh, he's got hops like you man he got hops <laughs> like you it is pretty similar wow I didn't realize my partner was a high riser goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, that absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like I am. Takes away the pass. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Up and inside. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Here's a double team. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. They had a shot block with a great block. He's got an open look for the shot. Jackson State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. Pushes it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. On the outside. From the top of the circle. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. But I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. For the bucket, he hits the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Fake. Tries for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. I 
Dante, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. Good fake. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Doesn't go. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Up and inside. In the paint. Trying to draw some contact. Goes up for two. Entry pass in the and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. High post screen. He shoots from right of the circle. Rims out. Gave it up. He launches a three. Yes. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. On the outside. Here's a flash from the post up high. There's a high screen. He puts it in with contact and all. come up with a steal, and they do. He's money with a shot. They'll work it around the arc. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Dumps it in. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. He's got a nice shot fake. Nice fake. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Steals the ball. Fast break possibility. He got the dunk and one. He saw nothing but rim. And glory on that, baby. What a dunk, Brad. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Number 12 going to the line for the first time tonight. Gets it. They work it around the perimeter. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. 
Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Easy one. He intercepts it. And the ball goes out of play. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. For two, he gets that one to fall. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. On the dribble, gives it up in the paint. They move it into the front court. Takes it off him. They get it out into transition. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. He bombs from outside. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. <laughs> We're going to move it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. For the bucket. They still don't score. They change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. He goes for three. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. The small forward takes the pass. Look at that spacing. They've left him completely alone. He shoots from the top of the circle. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. <laughs> Got to give that five-second call to the defense. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a cap delay. They'll throw it in from the side. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. And yet another foul. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. He goes to the line for the first time. Up and in. Gets the second shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Well, the lead is 10, Dick. Are you starting to hear the fat lady? Well, Brad, she could be warming up right now. 
The crowd really admires this young man. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Hits his second. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. And all the way on the baseline, now the kick out. Top of the circle, off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. They work the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. They work it back to the outside. Now they work it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up. They work it around the perimeter. Shot clock violation, Dick. They really put the clamps on him there. Clamps is right, Brad. They ran, but they couldn't hide. There's the turnover situation for the half, Dick. I'll tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in the game at the end drops significantly. Houston loses in this very well-matched game. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.